Now, a Russian delegation led by the Deputy Defence Minister met with Niger's military leaders in the capital on Monday. The countries have agreed to strengthen military cooperation. Niger, along with the military regimes in Mali and Burkina Faso, are also working more closely together. Over the weekend, Niamey and Ouagadougou joined Mali in leaving the G5 anti-jihadist force. Our regional correspondent, Harold Girard, tells us more. Niger new authorities have been distancing themselves from European government and friends in particular. This time, they are taking a step back from the G5 Sahel, which was created to fight terrorism in the region, but didn't succeed to fully eradicate insecurity in most of the concerned territories. Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso recently indicated that they plan on prioritizing bilateral cooperation over affiliation with Western-backed organizations. G5 Sahel is endorsed by Western leaders and partly financed by European commissions. For the last few years, across Central Sahel, terrorist attacks had been increasing uh, despite the G5 framework and had continued to do so in Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso, even as the countries pursue a more independent way to fight terrorism.